Hey there, it's Annie Little, and today I wanted to chat with you about chest voice. What is it, how do we find it, and why do they call it chest voice? So, the first thing you're gonna do is put your hand on your chest and say, ah, ah, ah. Did you feel anything? You might have felt some sensations of vibration happening in your chest which is why it's called chest voice. When you sing with it, it's going to have similar qualities that your speaking voice has. Chest voice is associated with the lower part of your voice. It's what we use when we speak or yell at someone, and it's associated with more power and intensity than, say, your head voice. Chest voice is the foundation of a well-developed singing voice. If the chest voice isn't strong enough, if it's weak, then your voice will lack power and intensity and might sound weak and breathy. Now keep in mind, everyone's voice is different and unique. So Adele's chest voice is going to sound different than Tori Kelly's. Adele's voice is naturally more rich and deep sounding, and Tori Kelly has a lighter, more flute-like sound to her voice. Neither one is wrong, they're just different. So how do we produce chest voice? There's a set of muscles within the vocal folds called the thyroarretinoid muscles. They thicken and shorten the vocal folds, which is what helps give our voices that power and intensity. But don't worry about remembering thyroarretinoid. Most people abbreviate them with TA or the TA muscles, but you don't even need to worry about that. It's just nice to know that that's how we produce chest voice. One interesting thing is that men naturally have a larger chest voice range than women. They have more on the bottom end before they transition into their head voice. So women have a shorter amount of chest voice before they have to go into their head voice and their mix. So fun fact, right? Part of why the chest voice is so important is that we need it to be able to mix with that upper part of our range so that we can get that power and intensity mixed with the flexibility of the head voice. Some ways that you can find chest voice are by using your speaking voice and then speaking the notes on pitch or speaking words on pitch. So you can even just say, no, no, no and then just put those words right on a pitch, like no, 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 or one, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, two, one. Now, if you struggle with your speaking voice already, finding chest voice might be a little more difficult, and that's when you might wanna get a teacher to help you work out what imbalances are happening in your chest voice so that you can find it both with your speaking voice and in your singing voice. (laughs) 